Okay guys, so I'm gonna work uh, Yaxi in protection today. We're doing just foundation work. It's the equivalent to sparring. So even though he might be a little confused in the beginning because I've been his buddy for the last few days, he'll get into it pretty quick. So we're gonna we're gonna play some protection games with Yaxi today and start building those foundation skills. Be careful, keep those sleeping low. Yeah. 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 Oh. You can see he hasn't really had that, and that's for me a really important thing is that the dog be able to really stay striking. You know, he kind of plays a little bit cat and mouse after the first miss. He kind of wants to wait for you to step in. It's like, no, man, you got to get out. Uh, come take him next to your left side. He doesn't want to be held. That's conflict a little bit, right? Like, he doesn't really trust the handler, or he hasn't been taught yet to trust the handler so much because he values the sleeve so highly. So it's like, no, no, I want the sleeve for myself. And he knows that the handler's his partner, right? Even though it's not me, whoever's holding the leash when you're doing the protection, it's your partner for this. So now I'm gonna come up and I'm just gonna grab the sleeve, let him go. Oh, hey. Hey, yeah. oh, good, buddy. Good, yeah. Oh. Ah, yes, good. Good. And again, he learns. You know, the way to fight correctly, he has a really big grip, this dog, and really hard pull grip. But the way to fight correctly is not to just wait, it's to start trying to pull the helper onto the ground. And that's what we want. So you can see now I'm gonna start teaching him this skill. Good. <laughs> and he's always pulling a little bit away here. Oh, oh, oh. Now we'll do a lift off here to generate some frustration and then put him back in the frame. That was my fault. I should have stepped into that one. <laughs> it's okay. He fills his mouth, which is what we want. It's a little delicate dance, you know. You don't want to desensitize him completely where he's not at all worried about the stick pressure. You want him to respect the stick pressure because that's what's going to keep him pulling. But at the same time, too much. Especially with a young dog, you can put them in avoidance. We don't want avoidance, we want fighting behavior. Look, if you know a guy has a heavy right hand, you're gonna try and either block or avoid the right hand while delivering your counter. It's the same concept with the dog. It's, it's not bad that he has a, a respect. He understands that the stick can come pretty hard if he doesn't do the right thing. Of course, I haven't shown him that yet, but that's gonna come. Let him go. Good. And I'll sometimes, just to desensitize, is I will, you know, whack him on the collar with it, just so he becomes familiar with it. He's got a very full calm grip and he bites really, really hard. He has a much natural, better natural grips than my dog Gage, for instance. I've worked a lot on his grips. This dog is much more firm and calm. He's very calm, he blisses out on the grip. There's dogs like that, they just grab it and they're just like, their eyes kind of roll back and they're just in the happy place and that's him. Which is good, it's a good genetic trait, especially for breeding, as long as it has a good nervous system to back it up. This dog, he's young, he's nine months and I'm his daddy, so I'm not gonna put too much on him, but when a, when a helper like Kelly makes, opens this dog up and makes the aggression on him, oh man, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. The aggression on this dog is gonna be fantastic. Hey, there he is. That's a very good strike. When the striking gets better, the speed, of course, will also get better because the dog will be more confident about where he's going. So you can see sometimes the striking's good and it's a little bit inconsistent. So we need to work a bit on his striking, but he's nine months old and he's big and he's a goof, right? So he hasn't learned yet. He hasn't become a man yet, so you'll see. Call me crazy, but I think uh, he's gonna mature into a very, very impressive male when he's fully grown. <laughs> Not bad. Good boy, Yax, Yax. Good job, buddy. I like Yaxi. He needs to work a little bit on his striking. I think we'll get, we'll get another uh, 20, 30 percent on the speed once the striking is there. I, I really like his size and I love his grips. And you know, I have high hopes. We'll see. It's a long road before we call him a stud dog. He's got to go through a lot of training here and see how he stands up to it. But uh, I have high hopes. I like him a lot.